Nancy, thank you so much for joining us here at Case 20. We've heard an awful lot this week about the tricky environment this industry is facing, both geopolitically and economically. So what tools do you need to go about navigating that at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I think it's all about diversification, which is why being here at Case with a lot of thought leaders is such a, a key aspect to help investors really think about, given you know, 2019 was a spectacular year for equities, for credit, for bonds, everything was rallying, everything is going up. And I think now, you know, having January was a pretty bad month with so many different surprises. And, and it just is a reminder that diversification is something that you always need in a portfolio. And you can't, you know, who would have predicted we would have had this uh, virus, which would cause all this noise in the market. But I think it's just a good reminder for having alternatives, having a diversified portfolio, and not just being. Uh, long only all the time. And you've talked about how data and the digital can help with that if you've got the right tools in place as well. Yeah, so I think definitely looking at things that are really diversifying for your portfolio. Like we we manage an IVAL ETF fund, which is interest rates and government bonds and inflation expectations. And I think it's very uh, data driven and very, it's not stocks or bonds, it's something different, but that helps to make a portfolio that's not correlated with itself. As well as diversifying, you'd like to see portfolios embracing ESG more, and in fact data could help with that because it provides measures. Yeah, I mean, I think right now ESG is still developing, and what defines ESG is still kind of working out. I think it's more developed in the equities markets with publicly traded companies, but if you think about, you know, the environmental, social, and governance practice, it shouldn't just be for public companies that are equities. You really want to have a diversified ESG portfolio, and, and my big mission is that all factors of investing can have an ESG lens and really applying those ESG principles to every asset class and every portfolio. It shouldn't just be uh, publicly traded stocks. And it shouldn't just be a buzz phrase that's banded around. It's got to be true purpose and this industry is in a powerful position to be able to make it count. Yeah, I mean, it, it does matter. It's, it's our future. It's our children's future. It's, you know, also doing the right thing and feeling at the end of the day allocating capital fairly to causes that are good for all of these measures, it's really important. So I think it's it's something that people really should take seriously. It's not just a fad, but I do think the market is going to be developing more to, like say, fixed income, because on the fixed income side, there's very little um, out there in the ESG space. You talked about diversification within portfolios. I'd like to talk about diversity in companies. <laughs> Case is very proud to have got a 50% female speaker lineup here this year. What difference does it make in a team to have that cognitive diversity, not just gender diversity? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really diversity. At the end of the day, why do investors want diversity? And it's because they don't want a portfolio that's correlated with itself. And so I think if it really goes back to economics and back to this is capitalism and diversity is important, whether it's diversity of gender, diversity of ethnicity, diversity of socioeconomic background. I think having group think and, and the same mentality and a herd kind of mentality for anything is not a positive thing. And so you want to have people from different backgrounds, different strategies, different genders, um, to really promote diversity across your portfolio, which at the end of the day is what we're all here for, right? To, to do well for our investors, to do well for our portfolios, and to promote wealth creation um, for the long term. Nancy, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Great to talk to you as always. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me.